In normal winters, fruit trees take a vacation and then produce new fruit in the spring, right? But Jackie Kutcher found this winter has been so brutal, you may soon be asking not, how's them apples, but where's them apples? This right here is red. It looks pretty good. It's looking pretty good right here. It may be small, but it's a sign of life on this apple tree branch. But it's the inside that you got to see how much it's brittle it is. And that's what Laura Dixon's been watching closely for. She runs Remorowski Orchards in Urbana. They have about a thousand trees on 15 acres. They started in 1964. And there's only been a handful of winters these trees have had to bear consistent, brutally cold temperatures. Some branches are already long gone. Yeah, you can hear some cracking. <laughs> Reps with the Ohio Fruit Growers Marketing Association say there's some concern, but apples are more winter hardy than other fruit. They're particularly worried about peaches, grapes, and strawberries, which don't take to the extreme cold so well, and that could affect all of us at the grocery store. Produce prices are set by how the crop is doing all over, and of course, peaches are the big concern this year. It depends how they're doing in other states, but you know how the winter's been across the country, so you can do the math. They increase their prices because they can't produce as much then it affects the grocery store and then it affects the consumer. Charlinda Nayake not only loves her produce, but she understands the cost of doing business. Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> like the groundhog didn't see his shadow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, no more winner. Right? No more winner. She's rooting for her fellow small business owners like Remorowski Orchards, who are hoping to have a good year despite this winter. It's not in your hands. So you just have to wait and deal with what you get. This winter has been the pits.